pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Hot Wheels Hilarity Special Delivery. This one's just a more basic setup with just nothing more than just singles, of which that they're just cars wrapped in a small package. It has a cardboard outer along with a plastic-like casing that surrounds the car to protect it. We got ourselves realistic models, some of which are rare, some of which are not as rare, but I definitely like the haul I got here for this episode of Hot Wheels Hilarity Special Delivery. So, let's go ahead and get into it. The first car I have from the bunch is a smaller car known as Pedal de Metal. It's got a nice little color scheme on it, and I really like the design of it. I don't know how that hook in the back though is going to help with its performance. And look at the skinny wheels, it probably won't help it reach higher speeds. The second car we have here is known as Steer Clear and this is part of the Streepy series. It's just a bowl sort of design, orange in color, and I actually like it a lot. Here we got ourselves a realistic model. This is the Maserati MC12, which is number 20 out of 20 from its own little lineup. It's got white and blue, which is sort of a basic color scheme for the Maserati MC-12. And I actually like how this model looks for the most part. It's got a simplistic bottom on it, but other than that... Next up we have ourselves another realistic model, though this one's much, much more rare. This is the 2001 B Engineering Adonis number three out of five of its own series as well. The decorations on the side and top are practically one of a kind considering how this is one of the rarest models I've seen so far ever to come by Hot Wheels production. Got a nice midnight blue on it, though I'm not so sure about the front splitter you can see there. I don't know how that might help with its performance. Next up is a fantasy model that we have here. This is a fire truck that we have here. It has a ladder on top, and this one's called Five Alarm. neon yellow with a white ladder and as you can see it actually articulates it just goes up and down though it doesn't really go on the sides though that's probably all right once again I'm not too sure as to how well it could do on the track though race crews did tell us five alarm can do very well on the track even though it's not listed as a track star plus this car is also a six-wheeler so I don't know if that's an advantage up next we have ourselves another realistic model. This is another Maserati. This is the Maserati Quattroporte, part of the first editions. Now this has a copyright date of 2003 on it. This Maserati Quattroporte is pretty nice actually, not just because of its color scheme. Here we have ourselves another fantasy model that revolves around the rescue type vehicles. This is a red rapid response. Once again, a color scheme like this is very successful and it looks like the back compartment would 
be removable, but apparently it's not. It's just sort of sealed loosely. Here we have ourselves another fantasy model, which came out of the HW City lineup, as well as the Team Hot Wheels lineup. This is Fire Eater. It's just got a nice white color with a nice shiny base and shiny details on it. Red flames on the sides and the front. And this is quite a nice looking fire truck as well, alongside 5 Alarm. Next up we have ourselves another fantasy model that I've wanted to give for quite a while. This is Flight 03 from the Snowflake series. It's got a nice yellow color on it, but it does have a splinter on the front and the back. And if you take a look on the packaging, it would actually say that it's a track stars, but I'm not too sure about that. Here's another realistic model. This is the 70 Chevelle with added ground effects and a hood marking from the Nightburner series. It's a burnt orange matte finish color scheme along with the black on it and the black on the base as well. It's kind of a low rider as well so that could hinder its performance. And finally we have ourselves Dragger, which is part of the 2008 new model series. It's got green and silver on it with large wheels in the back. I've not seen a Hot Wheels car that was designed to look like an actual tractor, so this one's kind of a good find, and as you can see, the green part can actually articulate up and down like that. I don't even know why that's even there. Because what's the use of some certain articulation points in Hot Wheels cars if they don't serve any better functions? But anyways, though, as you can see here, we got all of our cars here, from drag to pedal to metal, to five alarm, Fire Eater and all of the others here in this little grouping. I have decided to put these all on a layout of my choosing. Though of course it might be more simplistic than you would assume because lately I haven't gotten much creativity that I would need to build such large layouts that I would normally put cars on just to test them out to make sure that they perform very nicely. And so just give me a little while and I'll be back with the layout that I chose. And here we are again. This is the layout that I decided to make for this edition of Hot Wheels Hilarity Special Delivery. We got it's just a bit more of a basic setup with a sort of oval shape around it and it does start on the top of the dresser so you know that this can give cars more speed to go around it has kicker loops, it has a few support beams which came out of a two lane starter set and raceway which I do have Hot Wheels Hilarity episodes that revolve around the pieces of that set. We got all the cars around here and we're gonna find out how they will perform on this track because other than the support beams we got high banked curve, a low banked curve and the very end piece over here of course we also got two kicker loops Though, of course, not every car is going to make it successfully, but let's find out. First, let's do pedal to metal. Oh, second time. Oh, not too good in the loops. Maserati Quattroporte. Whoa, now the Maserati did well. Fire Eater. Oh, no, loops can't be good. Oh, 
and that'll be the end of you. Steer clear. Okay. Oh no. Rapid response. Got stuck. And stuck again. 2001B Engineering Adonis. Okay. Slid off the track. Second time is a charm now. Flight 03. Okay, a little too slow. Let's try again. Not that much of a track star. Maserati MC-12. Not good in the loops, okay. The 70 Chevelle. Can't do well in the loops. Dragged her. Got stuck. And stuck again. And finally, five alarm. Oh, you're bouncing. Only two cars have managed to make it to the very end of this layout. The Maserati Quattroporte and the 2001B Engineering Adonis. That's a bit disappointing in contrast to some other layouts of which I had more excessive... Only two cars have made it, everybody else did not make it. Though, I will continue to do whatever I can to make experiences in Hot Wheels hilarity feel much more better. Depending on the fanship to every one of these cars that we have here, I'm going to determine exactly how well am I going to be able to manage. And I'll see you then.